here at the Neo Node. So who are you? Uh, I'm Gunnar Freud. I'm responsible for automotive within Neo Node. And I proudly present our new uh, steering wheel that will definitely change uh, application um, development for automotive. Uh, today, a lot of technology is going into cars uh, and uh, in the center stack, the thing between the seats, uh, the displays are growing, the number of keys are growing and it's becoming a distraction. Um, so people tend to look more at the center stack displays than on the road and that's, that's really dangerous. So we were looking at the most demanding driving situation that you will find and that's probably Formula One. How did they solve this? Because there's a lot of technology in a Formula One car. Well, they put all the buttons on the steering wheel. So we said, let's use the Neono technology to actually make a steering wheel aware of where you have your hands. Is this touch? This is touch. Where? So, if you look at this, this is potentially a head-up display projected in the screen or in the windshield of the car. And you can then touch, just by touching the steering wheel, you can get your menu come up on your head-up display. And you can then change and go into the menus that you want to go in. And as you see, this HMI is designed to be minimal cognitive load, meaning the actual uh, function that you want to use comes into focus into your eyes. But of course, this steering wheel can do so much more. You have the fields inside the steering wheel can be used for cruise control or something similar, or you can do character input. You can do 3D, uh, manipulating maps, etc. And you can see the fields that we have now made transparent to make them easier to see, um, where you can control fan or something else. It's very rugged. It works for uh, outdoor equipment as well, like uh, jet skis, snowmobiles, bicycles, because you want to control not only maybe a device on your bicycle, but maybe also your goggles you will be wearing in the future. So you need a control device. And that can, of course, be the handles of your bicycle, for example. That's awesome. So, so, um, so but you would project into the windshield somehow? Yeah, it's Extra called head-up display. It's been around since Second World War on fighter planes, but it's now becoming more and more standard in, in cars because it increases the safety so much. So this is the ultimate control system for this, which will potentially remove the need for a center stack display and function. And you can move everything so you can have your hands on the wheel and the eyes on the road. So where is your technology in there? So if you look at the side of the steering wheel, you see the optical surfaces here as this transparent plastic here. And we use light. So if you have gloves or anything else, it doesn't really matter optical fields inside of these open areas allows you to do different kind of controls. You have fields here that allows you to control stuff. You might want to do gear shifting on the back here, for example. So these are just, this is just a demonstrator to give you a view on the potential of such a system uh, and the flexibility. So instead of being limited by mechanical controls, the whole car use case can be a software driven thing adaptable, flexible, friendly to use. How soon? Well, automotive. We launched this in January, but uh, hopefully we can see products on the market within the next two to three years after testing, evaluation, and doing all the safety stuff. So the neon technology is on the market in the e-readers, right? What, it's in the this? market of e-readers. But here, on this solution here, we want to show how robust it is because it's in the water. So we're actually doing underwater touch. Uh, there are lots of applications for that. You could do it in, uh, in a scuba diving uh, situation. Let's make a tablet for scuba divers so they can nice. communicate underwater. That's crazy. Nice. Right. Uh, and there, what are you showing there? Well, here we have a screen expander. No, joking. Uh, if you look at, at a lot of phones today, uh, the application developer spends a lot of time and effort in developing beautiful UI situations on, on the phone. But at the end of the day, when you play the game, you cover most of the screen with your hands. Of course, the industry answer is to make the screen bigger. But we thought, why not use our technology to actually expand the current screen? So looking here, 
we have now put different sensors on the side here so you can actually use the table around as your keyboard so virtual keyboard sliders that's crazy. And, and this this development kit that we see here is based on it's just a sleeve with a Bluetooth chip in it and a processor. The battery is only 65 milliamp hours, but still lasts for about 12 hours. And you can see on the side here our optical sensors that will allow you to uh, get like a virtual keyboard or use your drums or drive your car. Uh, like you see on our uh, website, the movie where you have the racing game. So this is actually making the screen bigger because your fingers are no longer on the screen in certain situations. How precise is it next to the, next to the phone? Well, it can be made very precise as we design very much to the specifications of our customers. And if they say they need a specific resolution, we realize that through optics and optical components and processing power. So. How does it work? Well, it works like we are sending out light here from the sensors you see on the side here. And we look, in this case, at the reflection. But with pretty advanced optics, so we can get a very high resolution. It knows exactly if you're clicking here or there? Yes, we can see that as well. How far? Uh, in this case, with these components, depends a little bit. but. So how about adding a projector that makes the screen bigger? That'd be cool, no? Would that, that, would that would be cool as well. So you could put this potentially on a projector. So you could maneuver the projector uh, from just touching around the projector to do things. Uh, the other thing could be, why don't have a, a very cheap, easy 3D scanner? You take a picture of something and you scan it, so you can really make it more live. Scan it? Yeah, like a simple 3D scanner. That is ideas that's been coming from our customers, what they can do with this technology. But as you see, it's uh, not too many limitations. Are you based in uh, Sweden? Yes, I'm based in Sweden. So that's where you're inventing all these technologies? Yes, you know, we have long dark winters and we want to do really cool stuff. and uh, Awesome things. Yes. This is cool. So how big is Neono? You are all over the, a lot of e-readers, right? We are in a lot of e-readers, we are in tablets, uh, we are in cars. Actually, the first car that we're in is shown at this uh, event. Um, exactly the steering? No. Not the steering wheel. This is our uh, touchscreen technology, but they felt it was so responsive, so fast, that so, it was the ideal solution and very robust. And the deal is that you are uh, more visible than capacitive somehow and resistive. And we are, let's. Let's put it in perspective. We all have our strengths and weaknesses, but I would say we are the fastest, the most power lean solution. So power lean that we can actually put on off switches or phones on the screen rather than having a button. Nice. And low cost? For big very, screens. very low cost for big screens, but also attractive cost if you compare, compare uh, the performance and the functions of uh, uh, our touch technology. Multi touch? Multi touch, of course. How many? Uh, depends on the solution. Uh, typically we do two touches, but of course if the customer requires we can also do ten touches.